Okay, no, so we're back here in Blender. Uh, welcome back. <laughs> All right, so now we're here in Blender. We can import our garment and start rigging it. So I like to go over to a new layer. Uh, for the same reason I told you to put everything else on its own layer, it makes it easier to select it. So we're on our new layer, and we're going to go File, Import, OBJ, and we're going to find our yoga outfit. Uh, this is Yoga Slink. I think yoga outfit is for the Matreya I did in the last video. And you see our av our clothes just pop right in. Um, hold down shift. And you see it fits right on to our avatar the way it did in Marvelous Designer. Now, because we opened up our avatar's legs, we can't just rig it to the skeleton. Um, if you were to, you know, have not opened up the legs, then you can just click and bind it and then that would be it but because we spread the legs apart for the pants we have to take an extra step now this step is totally different in Avastar 2 which is why I said you would be best to use Avastar 1 um, in Avastar 1 we can just press alter to rest pose and then you know go on from there but in Avastar 2 there's a whole workflow for doing this using bind to pose and I haven't mastered that yet and I just found that it was just a lot easier to just stick with Avastar 1 so yeah <laughs> Alright, so what I'm talking about is this. We're going to hold down shift and we're going to select the uh, layers that have the body. Hold down shift, select the layer with our clothes. With shift still being hold, select the layer with our bones on it. So we have everything selected. We're going to let go of shift. Then we're going to click on our body. I mean, our click on our clothes. Hold down shift again. Click on the bones. And then we're going to go over here to the Avastar tab, and we're going to select Tools. I think it's in Tools. You may get the error. Just click away from it and press it again. All right, so it wasn't in Tools. Appearance, Skinning, Skinning Gear. Yeah, skinning. All right, so we have Skinning, and we're going to change it from where it says Weight to Keep to Bones. And then we're going to check this box that says Alter to Rest Pose. And then we're going to press this button. This is bind to armature. And we're just going to wait for it to load and do its thing. Okay. It's done and it's thing. <laughs> it's thing is now done. So before we do anything else, we're going to click on our body. Hold down shift. Select the garment. And then we're going to do um, from, go to, from object mode to weight paint mode. And we're going to go to Tools, and then Transfer Weights. And this is going to allow us to transfer weights from the body to the garment. And I'm doing it this way. That way I can show you how to fix an error that you may run into. Hmm. It didn't happen. For the thing, it is done. <laughs> uh, click on this and let's see. Hey, look at that. No sticky pants. Well, oh, right there, there's a little bit of a stick. So we can teach you how to fix that, I guess. All right, so we're going to talk about uh, weight painting. I really had hoped that they had stuck. I'm a little upset about that. All right, because I taught the other, everybody else who does this how to handle sticky pants. And it seems a little weird that you slink people might lose out on how to learn, deal with sticky garments. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to teach you how to do get rid of sticky pants. So what I want is to click on this garment and press shift D, move it over here because this is going to be the good one. So we'll refer back to that as the good one. And then I'm going to transfer the weights again with the legs close to the body. That way you guys can learn sticky pants fixing. Let's try it again. I'd be damned it ain't sticky. Huh. Neat. <laughs> well, I don't know how to simulate sticky. All right, wait, I guess I can make artificial sticky pants just to teach you. So I'm gonna click this leg, and I'm going to grab the weight, and I'm gonna go like this, and like this over here, this, that, and. I guess the on this bone. I never made sticky pants before. Everything just kind of. I can't even make fake sticky pants. Well, if you want to learn how to deal with stuff that has stuck, 
go watch the other video, like the Maitreya one. We got a really good stick on that one, and we showed how to fix it. So, I'm sorry. I just don't. That's that's weird. It's almost always stuck. It's funny to see that it has it. Um. So yeah, I don't know what to do. Man, that just blew my whole workflow up. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I can talk about weight painting. So weight painting is second is Blender's um, representation of bone control on here. It's technically called bone heat. At least it used to be called bone heat back in the day. And it's like the visual representation of control a bone has over your mesh. So um, it's shown in colors going up from red all the way to uh, blue. Well, blue to red. Uh, red is full control, like 1.0 maximum, and it's red. And blue, uh, zero control, which is no control over it, is represented by blue, which is like zero, zero. So basically, think of it as to heat and temperature. The redder something is, the more control it is, or the hotter something is, the uh, more control the bone has over the garment. And the colder or bluer it is, the less control it has over your garment. So if we were to, let's say, um, this is usually where that sticky pants would come in here. Here's a good example. Uh, if we were to paint this totally red, like the whole garment, let's select the leg. And we're going to turn our radius up to like 200. And we're going to put it all over here, giving this, oh, turn the strength up. I don't know why they turn the strength down. So we're going to turn this all the way down here to red. You see that this bone has control over the whole garment. And that's not good. Uh, but if we were to cool it off, you know, make it colder, make it bluer, then you see it has less control over the garment. Make this like totally blue. And you see it's like that. So the goal when you're weight painting is pretty much just to strike the perfect temperature so it can move properly. And as you saw before, when we transferred the weights, it worked. <laughs> we don't really have to weight paint very much on this garment. I did notice, though, that no matter how much weight painting I do, the crotch of the slink avatar seem to always pull up inside the body when you attach the skeleton to it i think it's because when we had made the garment we did it with the legs spread apart so we didn't account for uh the extra fabric needed like it's there but it's not enough so we can just correct this by uh going into sculpt mode real quick but wait first i want to press r and spread the legs apart a bit just so i can get in there oh well maybe we can edit this and paint Let's fix this first, sorry. We're going to weight paint this little triangle out of the way. Because that's not good. So I'm going to go into weight paint mode. And I'm going to enable masking, which is this little dot right here. And then you can also press um, M if you want. M, not N. M. And you can just select the triangle. Uh, so this bone right here is going to the leg. I'm going to turn the weight down, turn my strength up. And then you're going to push this and see if that helps. It didn't move, so I think maybe adding weight to it, uh, that makes it worse. Alright, so what's to do, what to do? Let's try this one. Let's try making this over here. Nope. Hmm. I guess it must be the ye old trick. If it's going crazy, it's got to be the pelvis. Let's see. Yep, it's the pelvis. So let's try adding weight to the pelvis and see how that works. Yep. It's the pelvis. So let's take all this and add it to the pelvis. I feel like there should be some joke about a hot crotch or something like that going in here. Yeah, let's see. I absolutely loathe rigging pants. Like dresses and skirts, I can rig that till the cows come home love it pants oh god i hate pants it's like pants and arms dresses skirts easy so i'm just removing selecting the triangles here 
and removing the leg weight uh, in this area. There we go. And uh, with this part exposed, I'm going to uh, grab the sculpt. I'm just going to grab the grab enabled the grab brush and just pull it down. And we can also cheat and do the same thing here. <laughs> but you want to make sure that it doesn't collapse when you're moving. Yeah, this should be fine. Yeah, it's cool. Alright. You want to see if anything else is sticking out? Yeah, it was the crotch and the butt. I always seem to miss it. So you can just grab, what's that? Puff, puff, inflate. And puff that out a bit. Let's half ass into the max. And there we go. Alright, so now we want to edit the shirt. Now, let's say you want to edit the shirt and stuff, right? But when you go to use grab on it, you notice you're grabbing the pants too. We want to ideally separate the two. That way we can edit the shirt and the pants separately. So to separate our garments, we can just go to uh, first object mode, select, click on the garment, press tab and go into edit mode. Hover your cursor over the garment and press L and it'll highlight it. And then you can press P and then you can press selection and it lets you so you select it. So now our pants and our shirt are on two separate layers. Now, like I said before, if you find that you're grabbing the body when you're trying to work on this you can just go over to your clothing layer and you can just not have to worry about that so you keep your stuff organized <laughs> so i'm gonna go over to our sculpt mode and get grab and i'm just gonna pull our shirt out so that it wraps around the pants anybody notice that these avatars have like kind of a duck butt kind of thing going on like the body's not straight up and down it's kind of like up and it's forward. I, I noticed that with the Maitreya too. I just I don't get it. <laughs> Maybe it's just to make your bust look bigger. All right. So remember before I said I, I wanted to edit this. We can just uh, see. Grab our shirt. We can pull it in here. We can have better shirt. Um, you can turn the symmetry off if you want. And you can just pull on that part. I like to also smooth out a lot of the wrinkles. Uh, not too many because that, that defeats the whole purpose of using Marvel's designer. But, uh... Oop, I was using scrape, not smooth. Smooth. There we go. That kind of defeats the purpose of using Marvel's designer. But, uh, also don't want it to be super harsh. Yeah, see, these are called the, the harsh wrinkles. I hate it when people put those in there. There we go. Just soften it up a bit. It looks gross when you don't. And they bake on top of it. Ugh, gross, 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 gross. Alright, so with some uh, modification, I have the shirt the way I want it to look. So, that's what maybe I'm going to pull this down a little bit. There we go. Now the shirt looks the way I want. And for some reason your butt is so perky, it holds up the shirt. So uh, I, I guess that's just part of the avatar. So now that we have our shirt all rigged and movable, we're going to press R, click on the joints and see if it moves the way we want it to move. Uh, you can try fixing this with some weighting. But that falls within the um, margin of error for uh, alphaing. So you don't have to, to if you don't want to. It really depends on how much OCD you have and how. <laughs> so um, I think this is pretty good. 
So I'm going to export it real quick, and we're going to do a test render so we can look at it in world. And then we move on to our next part, and that's texture. So I'm going to actually wait. Ugh, oh, damn these bones. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, I was wrong now. All right, so I'm going to select the all part. So I'm going to go back to our clothing layer and press A and select everything. And I'm going to push file, export as Avastar Colada. And I'm going to name it whatever. And then just hit OK. And I'm going to go over here into the beta grid because, <laughs> oh my God, there's no way I got that much money. All right, see so how we're going to go and do upload our test results. So, we're going to turn our low and lowest to zero. Then we're going to push include skin weight, calculate our weight and fees. You don't need physics, so it's cool. Don't worry about it. Hit upload. Uh, let's see. Cloth shape, Ed, and we have our shirt and pants, which is cool. I mean, it's looking pretty chunky though, but I guess it'll be better once you get a texture on it or color. I'm sorry, this isn't a very good tutorial. I think this might be up there with one of my worst ones. Maybe it's residual hatred from the slink. Hmm, who knows? Slink bodies rejected me. <laughs> Alright, so we have, for the most part, a rigged garment for the slink. And it looks pretty good. So now that we have our body, like, um, our garment rigged and we're okay with the rigging, oh, I think that's just the stretching you see there is the wrinkle that's underneath her shirt so I may want to smooth that out <laughs> either way we got our shirt we got our pants everything's rigged it's time to go on to actually texturing it because what's the fun of having a blank t-shirt <laughs> all right so I'm gonna go over and set up for that part and I'll meet you guys over there so see you later all right